Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Zemek playing some Scizor in the center lane. We're running these items and these emblems. Crustle, I'm gonna need to ask you to move there. We're in duo queue today. Amateus is the Snorlax in the top lane. Yeah, that, 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 that's about it. Uh, let's see, as far as the build goes, we are stacking up an attack weight, so we're going to be looking to wipe people at the on, on our first fight. That's how we get our first stack in, break it open, that kind of stuff. And I think our top lane has more wiping power than our bottom lane. So that's looking like the lane that we're probably going to want to gank. They are pushed forward, though. Right there. Some good ganking position, hopefully. They have a Lapras. We're going to definitely need to kill that Lapras. It can be a struggle. Oh, it saw me and X speeded. He said, nope. Yeah, he has Waterfall, so we can't approach. All right, there, we got a stack in anyways. That's kind of crazy. We just had to dodge around the Whirlpool. All right, Lapras is a pretty good defender and on the first side. I kind of left prematurely there, but I pick up this Froki because uh, I have obviously have Fog of War hacks. It's the only explanation. Thing just dropped into my lap. I forgot to stay for birds and it's just like, we'll, uh, we'll make it okay. And there's our second stack. Needed to pick up those orbs. I was actually going to inject to make sure we confirmed the kill, but it worked out. Okay, birds in the middle here. I have Matt four stacks. I could probably take this in DD and get more, but that's first of all, my bottom lane's EXP. And second of all, I need to take these birds. So we take, uh, we take the weight because it stacks very nicely with Swords Dance. Alright Ivysaur, how much, of the, how much of the jungle are you going to take? Because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think you need my red buff. I don't, I don't think that's something that you need as an Ivysaur. Maybe he's taking the Giga Drain Petal Dance set. That would make sense if he takes it that, but like if he's running Solar Beam, he hardly auto-attacks auto at all. He did take Giga Drain, so... We'll, we can see, we'll see. Um, oh, that focus band popped at just the right moment for that Greninja. Oh, with Pikachu? Yeah, let's go Pikachu! Finishing up the job there. Beautiful. That was that was that was nice. My uh, swords dance auto hit the Greninja as well, kept him low. He just kept on regaining HP and shield. Ah, he's dead. We we ain't messing with that. So remember, you want to weave the auto attacks in after. Especially Sword Dance, but Bullet Punch as well. I kind of have a lot of orbs here, but they are pushed up. I might be able to sneak past this. Or, no, alright, gentlemen's agreement. We just don't bother with each other. Okay, because he knew the night he had information I wasn't privy to. Well, we're, we're banking. Okay, we might not be banking. We're banking. The power of Scizor, man. And there's our sixth stack. Oh wow, actually. Just just because. We gotta get our Unite move up, you know? So that is six stacks. We have a jungle rotation that the enemy team is probably taking at the moment if they're smart. All right, they didn't take it. Cool. They definitely could have. We are just scaling. We're we're not team fighting right now. There's not really an objective to try to take. So we are scaling. In fact, we have Indeedies in the bottom that no one is caring about. 
What's up with that? What did those Ndidis do to my teammates? Alright, there's a Zoomerill. I think we can probably... Oh, he's, uh, he's uniting me, but I have friends! He's so fast. Oh, Mateus just caught him. Oh my gosh, he could not escape the Snorlax. I had I had an eject button and dashes that I could have used, but Pikachu, please just confirm it. Oh my gosh, Pikachu was not hitting the B button. Oh, Mateus and I were going and using all of the CC we had, and I barely have any CC as Scizor. I used my Unite move for that to try to CC and stop him. He's gonna stop this bank. No. Oh my gosh, why didn't he stop that bank? That's crazy. They always stop that bank. Well, we just got 50 in. What's a little bit more greed, you know? Gotta choke their EXP. Which means... They're not allowed to bank. What, you're gonna step up on me? Dude, you are you are eject buttoning at me, and you're using your Unite move. You're still gonna lose. Oh my gosh, this has to be embarrassing for you. Alright, Lapras, do you want to Unite move and lose as well? I'll allow it. They literally have no one who can 1v1 me. Dude, I, I gave you an offer at life, and you spat at it. You coming back again, Azumarill? I'll fight you again. I don't have a um, Razor Claw, and it shows there. Because they don't get stunned. Or they don't get slowed. I don't have Red Buff either. This might be a little bit too much. Fighting the Metagross and Greninja at the same time. I can fight one. I can't fight both. Alright, Lapras. We're doing this again? Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to even kill them. They're just throwing their bodies at me. And that is the... That is the Ninetales Unite move. Wasted. Not only did he waste it, he didn't even kill me. That is a- it's a rough day to be that Metagross. Their entire team is in the top lane. Why? Why? It makes no sense whatsoever. This, this game is crazy. This game is bonkers. Why would they, why were they even trying to step up on me? I was two levels higher than them. I was just trying to go about my day doing Pokemon Unite things and they're like, but I want to die. 84,000 damage. I, I wasn't even looking for team fights. I just, they just walked up at me one at a time. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, you know, they, they, they were giving me good jobs. I gotta give them back, you know? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye.